Today we are closer to the fight in Temeraire than we've ever been. It's on the £20 note in your pocket. And it was declared the nation's favourite painting. And it's a pain to a lost world subsumed by the advances of technology. As an image, it's as resonant today as the day Turner put paint to canvas in 1838. As a reenactment group, One of the great joys is the ability to not just tell a story, but to expand beyond common knowledge and bring history roaring back to life. The Fighting Temeraire represents one of those great British touch points. We all recognise the image, but few know the story. And what a story it is. Deeds of Arms have been recreating history for more than 15 years, evolving and developing as we find the historical hooks to hang our presentations on. In recent years, we have increasingly focused on those moments in time that create what it is to be British, which is thanks in no small measure to the French. From the popularisation of the English language and our ingrained tradition of folk heroes that grew out of the 14th century to the Georgian Navy's stout hearts of oak, it is British reaction to French animosity that has moulded our nation into what it is today. So, thank you, Froggies. Based on the south coast, and within spitting distance of Portsmouth, Nelson's flagship has loomed, though less so in her current dismasted state, over the group for a number of years. In 2010, we began, in earnest, a project to resurrect the story of Nelson's navy, and through HMS Temeraire, her crew and her guns. Larger than the victory, Temeraire's three-gun deck silhouette was instantly recognisable at the time. Her keel was laid in 1793, and she cost a staggering £73,000 at the time, and yet her story was initially set to be far from glorious. Ordered to sail to the Caribbean in 1801, the crew, with no hope of receiving long-expected leave, violently mutinied. Subdued by the officers, the mutineers' ringleaders were tried and hanged on their return to Portsmouth. The ill-disciplined crew was then subjected to four years of blockade duty, which was to transform it and set Temeraire on a course for posterity. In 1805, at Trafalgar, Temeraire was the first ship on Nelson's list, and Captain Eliab Harvey was to be senior captain of the fleet. It was the Temeraire's unflinching assault on the largest warship of the time, the giant four-decker Spanish first-rater Santa Sima Trinidad, and then the French ships Fogu and Redoubtable, the latter which had victory at its mercy and from where the shot that killed Nelson was made that cemented the ship's reputation in naval history. But who were the 720 men who faced French guns in stoic silence and bore the brunt of the day with a punishing butcher's bill of dead and injured? How could we bring that to life without the Georgian naval budget? It was to Temeraire's 98 guns and their crews that we looked. To recreate the Temeraire required bold intent and that meant securing a gun from the only place we knew they could be found, the decks of HMS Victory. Today, Victory stands as a proud memorial to all those sailors who risked their lives in the protection of this nation. She sits in dry dock, and that was a problem. The sheer weight of the guns on her meant that over time, they would have pulled down and eventually broken the back of the vessel. So the guns were taken off, they were moulded, and they were recast in glass fibre. So when you visit the ship today, there are just one or two that are actually original. The rest are fake. So the decision was taken to reconstruct an entire gun as it would have looked on the deck of HMS Temeraire 200 years ago. We chose the number three gun on the starboard side. It's an interesting position. It's on the main gun deck, but it's uh, just bounded off by some small canvas panels, the other side of which would have rested uh, the injured... Uh, and also, as well, for that matter, some of the ladies for the World Women Aboard Ship at the time. It gave us a great talking point, something to build our shows around. And we literally did build that. And so when you come to see our shows today, you may just see us with a small tabletop demonstration. You may see the gun still on a tarpaulin laid out. But for those large events, we will bring out our complete three-dimensional construction of that gun deck. And the gun works. We can run it like a real crew. We can uh, fire it, it makes a heck of a noise, and it is completely spectacular. It's our hope that anybody who sees that today will not only get a feeling for what it was like to be a sailor in combat 200 years ago, but also that they'll start to understand a little bit more about the history of the Temeraire and why she's on that £20 note.